In this video, I'm going to solve one of the API challenges and I'm going to use Insomnia to do that. Now, in order to track progress of the challenges, I have to make a post request to the challenger endpoint, which I've done to get a X challenger good. So this next challenge, which is called as the first real challenge, I have to issue a get request on the challenges endpoint. So let me set that up. So I'm going to create a new request and it'll be a get request and it's going to be on the slash challenges and I'll put the full URL in there in just a second. I'm going to create that. I'm going to add the header because in order to track my progress, I need to have an X challenger header in there. And that's the same with all the requests. So I'll probably end up copying the request and building on it each time. Now I could set up defaults for this and variables, but I'm just going to create the requests each time to make it obvious what I'm doing. I need it to be on the API challenges endpoint. So HTTPS API challenges .com slash challenges. That's the endpoint that we're working with. And if I send that request with the X challenger header, the challenges should be tracked. So let's send that. And that's given me back a list of all the challenges. And if I refresh the page here, I'll see that that get challenges has now passed. And that's the simple way of doing this. Remember, it's just a get request on apichallenges.herokuapp.com slash challenges. But I need to remember to put in the X challenger header so that it will be tracked on the system. If you want to work through the challenges yourself, you can find all the information you need at eviltester.com slash API challenges. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you're kept up to date with any of the videos we're at least showing API challenges or APIs in general or testing in general. We have a lot of content here. Subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.